Hey everybody, today we're going to read about Llama and how he unleashes the apocalypse. Llama likes cooking and baking and eating. He really loves eating. But Llama does not like cleaning. So there's only one thing to do. Invent a machine capable of cloning his most fastidious friend, Alpaca, to clean up his mess. What could go wrong? By dinner, Llama will unleash a great apocalypse upon the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Breakfast. Every morning, Llama started the day with a large balanced breakfast. The problem with large balanced breakfast was the large unbalanced mess they made. Now Llama was many things. A dancer, a daring adventurer, a beekeeper, a gentleman, a scholar, but one thing Llama definitely was not was a Llama who cleaned up after his own messes. So he dreamed up an idea, an ambitious idea, a dangerous idea. An idea so outrageous it might just work. Ta-da! said Llama. The Replicator 3000. Lunch. At lunch, Llama called his friend Alpaca. I am Alpaca, answered Alpaca. I am Llama, said Llama. Alpaca was an alpaca of impeccable tidiness. Nothing brought Alpaca more joy than cleaning. Llama knew this. So, Llama invited Alpaca over for lunch. Llama invited Alpaca into the Replicator 3000. Zoop! And then... Llama invited disaster. Alpaca and his clone cleaned the kitchen with swiftness and ease, so swiftly and easily that Llama wondered what he could do with more alpacas. Llama pressed the button again, zoop, 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 and again and again. With every press, there was a zoop, and with every zoop, another alpaca. Llama had created an army of cleaners. The alpacas cleaned with passion and vigor, but the more they cleaned, the more mess they made. Second lunch. By second lunch, Llama's mouth was full of spaghetti and Llama's house was full of alpacas. Spaghetti? So Llama did the most sensible thing he could think of. He opened the front door and let his mess go somewhere else. The apocalypse had begun. Dinner. It was dinner time, and alpacas roamed the earth. They cleaned everything. The houses, the schools, the playground, even the fanciest French restaurants. We, oui, we, oui. no, shouted the servers. There was pandemonium in the streets and alpacas, alpacas everywhere. This is the end, shouted everyone. Second dinner. It was second dinner and Llama heard none of the uproar. He was busy composing his greatest symphony and eating a cheese pizza with extra cheese. It smelled delicious. A deliciousness that could be smelled miles and miles away. Back the alpacas raced to Llama's house, fast and furious, and extremely famished. Pizza, 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 shouted the alpacas. Llama feared for his pizza, so he hid it. But Llama was not good at hiding. No pizza down there. And the alpacas stormed right in after. Pizza, 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 shouted the alpacas. In a final attempt to save his food, Llama pressed the other button. He unzooped every single alpaca until there was only one left. I am Llama, said Llama. I am alpaca, said alpaca. Dessert. It was time for dessert, and though Llama's house was still a mess, along with the rest of the world, 
Nothing got between Llama and his cake. The problem was Llama had only one slice of cake. Llama was many things, an artist, a versatile stage actor, an athlete, an esteemed oceanographer, but one thing Llama was not was a Llama who ate only one slice of cake. So Llama dreamed up an idea, an ambitious idea, a dangerous idea, an idea so outrageous it might just work. The Replicator 3000. Dad, said Llama, the 